Australian really? driver into open wheel racing ever would be historical as Shorzy historically sets a 121 currently well not really historically but sets the fastest lap as Elushid we know how far oh Elushid is not uh, oh Davy Cranky mate don't you underestimate the power of a Mercedes just ask Toto Wolf oh I actually see sparks if I'm not mistaken you guys could see and then all of a sudden they get a little bit wet again oh and that's the reason why look at that spin right there from that man that I've just probably unfortunately commentated cursed Five. You don't need to worry about listening to the lights if you're like, yeah, I drive. And one, two, three, four, five lights. The clutch is in the rear up and it's, and they're off. Oh my God, I'm happy. Yeah, just go slow, just go slow. Yeah, okay, you're retired. Okay, great, let's go. Go ahead. So, looks like the That's Aston. That's a lot of cars. That's Shorty. That's Shorty. Oh, I'm a McLaren driver. Meanwhile, no KP in the lead of the mo at the moment. Ties in second to medium hearts and medium medium softs. I was the race. I was racing for like a whole minute uh, for a whole second there, and then I can confirm. Yes, it is. Oh, medium, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, they both uh, they both elected to go different tire strategy as well, and now they're in trouble. But then it's still early days. Still first lap. It looks like it's always first. Is officially enabled. Yeah, okay, doesn't it really help that to... much, does it, around here Gaps. in Monte Carlo? <laughs> the Gaps are still staying close. None, uh, all of them are still within oh, the area. Oh, not exactly. Not to Novell. The best. Oh, the Martin! The Alpine! The Alpine! Oh, That's Melly, yeah. Melly is spun! And he is going to be out of point contention. He's just going to finish. The they didn't even try to avoid it. And now into the very, very slow corners. You can't overtake around here. It's very, very difficult. Can Dave Cranks get a good exit speed here and try to take it through the tunnel? Yes, looks like he's trying to have to get it. Like that was very dangerous just now from the camera angle I got. Down to Casino. Still following him. They're about to do Is it a do it? It's a mirror. Oh, exactly. The one yeah. Finish, uh, yeah, that was a bit. Strange. I can't see where the car is, yeah. So, anyway. So, Dave Cranks, back to him. Really put it, so, try to provide a pit stop. Bit. That's generally what happens, isn't it, when you have an early pit stop. We lost solid. And a few and other drivers. And once again, David Cranks. Davey. Alpha caught up, but none of them able to overtake. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a large train forming very soon in the next few laps. Mercedes, Mercedes power versus Mercedes power. Okay. Near us straight, and... Is Dave going to get into turn one? Maybe he can. Round the outside. Now the Williams closes the door on him. As you can oh, see, God. Dave Crank's going to try to take advantage of this. Now, this is the closest he's ever been. He's going to try to be the last of the late breakers. Which is going to park his car right in the right part, right in the in the right place. I've seen the sparks. I've seen the spark. I've seen Glitch. the spark. Think... Glitch is obviously yeah, on a slower tyre right? and a little bit slower. But, you know, Dave. Yeah. Go ahead. No heroics in the sand of vote. We want to keep the car in peace. Please, heroics in the sandy boat. Really getting past somebody. Look at that. Once again, he's super close. He's ridiculously close, but can't get an overtake to get the right key. Just can't. You can't oh. overtake anywhere. It's just Monaco. The cars are too big. The Monaco. The Monaco is too big for Monaco. Again, it's going to come down to the the really the the whole uh, yeah, the word I'm looking for is pit stop strategy. Up for grabs. Remember that fact. Now, Ethan's catching this party pretty quickly in the background. He's got horse control. Dave's got it! Dave's got it! No one's done a stop yet. The Alfa Romeo is now doing spawn, so the incident track has been cleared. Drive really trying to get around Ethan, but it has to think twice about it. We'll go on board with Melly, and we can see this action from the Alpine car, from the T cam. Ethan's to back off. They're going side by side through Beau Rivage. Could have killed them both. I think you just missed it right now. Cade was going to move in Apollo and Cade. But what's going to happen there? How can he get past? Oh, Glitch is gone. Oh, no, Glitch is not gone completely, but Glitch has uh, lost a lot of positions big time. 12 laps in those hard tyres are not working for him. He's got the box. He's he on his front boxing. wing, clearly not. So it's not a front wing change. He just doesn't like these tyres. Yeah, it feels like the mediums would be a better option. And to be honest, the mediums actually felt quite good during the But he might have got a little bit of damage. He has got damage. Diag now He's has now a little bit of end plate damage. A little bit of 10% to the front right wing. Will he box? Yes, he does. He has to. Take advantage of the situation. If you got damage, get it done. Switch over to the tires. What's he going to switch to? Hards. 
Hards Maybe. for Jag. He will. No! He will. Oh, he Jagsurf's might. coming out of the pits right now. Dave Cranks is Dave Cranks and they jump him. Dave Cranks! Son! Oh! Jagsurf! Start oh, the position! Wow. That was close. Listen to Jeff, mate. That's the problem. Listen to Jeff. And they see where they're going to come out. And look at this. Foxtrot on fresh boots there. And Melly. Larson late break is bang into the wall. I knew it was going to happen. It's too much. Now, once again, we're seeing a situation where Glitch has got the fresh boots. Apollo doesn't. But Glitch also has to think about that on the team radio. He's just heard the message that, you know, don't risk it for the biscuit a little bit too much just yet, my friend. Oh, there's going to be crunching here. There is crunching. And there is an accident. Apollo losing a little bit of damage there. Yeah. I don't know about overtaking through there, mate. God. The driver's like, oops, they go to turn in, and then they don't realize there's a car side by side. And then all of a sudden, somebody's going to come out the worst case scenario. And that's tricky, especially in Monaco, man, because no one will overtake. You understand that can drive? Oh, horse can drive? Yeah. Um, it's a glorified go kart track, my friend. Absolutely glorified. Horse can drive. I think it has damage as to box. 18 laps, or oh, three laps, yeah, has damage because he's, he's put some fresh boots on. Second it's least amount of overtakes with about 13 or so, or 14. Really? Yeah. Well, in the last hey. three years, which is the reason why they're changing the uh, the Melbourne circuit. No, they're changing amazing. Australia for that very reason, trying to get a little more overtaking. But then again, in the game, Australia produces a lot more overtaking. So it's a little bit different than the real F1, of course. But F1 no, broadcasts, so there you go, Liberty Media. We got it better than you guys have here in a ton of glory racing. And there it is. So thank you for the Aston Martin driver for allowing us to snoop into his uh, tire data. Right now with his tires, which are probably about 40, 40 to 42 percent now on 22 lap tires. Yeah, it's just uh, some people are going to make uh, some different choices based on what they have to do. Uh, I don't know what I meant to say just now. I think I stuttered a little bit. Now, what's interesting? This is what's really interesting, I have to say. But why did the, yeah? Why did the egg surf box? He had hard tires. Hang on, I got the sneezes. One second. Wait, what? What am I saying? I think I'm mildly confused at the moment in what's going on. We have a slight mishap. Oh, it's a Hello there, it's got a penalty. Trying he got to find past Foxy. It looks like Foxy just let him past here. What's going on? Is it Team Motors? Yeah, it's Team Motors for what? It's a Mercedes powered uh, McLaren and a Honda powered Red Bull. So, yeah. So that's allowed DXF to go off. Here we go. So the leader's boxing. This is interesting. Let's have a look at the gap to the leader. So 45 seconds to Melly. He's going to get way out ahead. All right, so there is the Yeah, I yeah, do. Now, he's going to come out behind. Obviously, he'll be ahead of Melly. But how much? I think he's lost at least Six about two, a couple of... Yeah, he's lost too much time. Down the road. That's a lot of work to do. We'll go back to Diag Surf, who now is going to catch Melly, who's on 26 laps. Now, Melly has to box. That's the thing. Melly has to box. The problem for Diag Surf is... Yeah, there it is. Old Diag Surf must be thinking. Thank you. Thing. Melly has to box. The problem for Diag Surf is... Yeah, there it is. Old Jag Surf must be thinking, thank you very much, because I did not want to be tucked up behind you for a few more laps. That would cost me a lot of time. Uh, yeah, it's the... It's like Cade, and uh, there's this giant train forming with uh, Foxtrot, Lewis, and Cade, the Aston Martin. They all stuck at the Mercedes-powered sandwich here. Uh, this is going to be it's a giant train. Not many overtakes. Is that Oli? Uh, I think Glitch is in the pit lane just now. Yeah, he's gotten jumped by Oli as well. Meanwhile, we're going to head back to the train for fifth and sixth place. Oh, melee has gone past. Yeah, as he as he boxed. There's no way he's boxed. I mean, he might have, if he boxed early. Can, can he go to the end? Oh, oh massive spin! Oh! That's Cade. So the tyres are absolutely getting gone. close to the point of no return. And now he's, he's really challenging with the Mercedes of Dave Cranks. He's got a box. Here it is. He has to box. Oh, that's going to hurt him big time. He got points there, and now he's going to lose. Well, he's got a 25-second gap to glitch. So in and out, there's a front wing ready. Okay, so Trice has really caught up the back now of the Alfa Romeo driver. He's running out of time. 
It doesn't. It, it seems like a seven or so laps is an eternity here in most races, but unfortunately, when you're in Monaco, it's not a lot of time. No mistake of anybody intentionally trying to do it. It's just a, it's just difficult when you're on old tires, and when you're a driver like Belly, you want you got you've got the better tire, you have got the better grab, grip, you got the better traction. But you're just going to like try to seize the moment at the right time. It's just so absolutely It's struggling with the traction on 20 lap tires. Belly could have found somebody to get going the inside here. He's going to be last late breakers. That is really, really risking it for the biscuit there. Line here. And he's still holding him off. Believe it or not, you do. Oh, there's the Ferrari in the background of a hollow. You do not get many, many races and league races in all my Set experience. Back. They probably realized, look, you know what? I can't. I just can't overtake. There's no, there's no, there's nowhere to go. But they realized Follow. the yeah. Alfa Romeo driver all the way through here. Uh, don't lose the front ring, Ticey. You've done a great job. A P2, you should take that any day of the week. You start in P3. Yeah, just, but they, they haven't finished. They're about to. Uh, you can let me know on that one. Keep people surprised. It's, it's so I finished because I had been lapped. Um, but they, they hadn't been lapped yet. I just like to go to the...